Hi guys! Today I have a special guest with me, Danica McKellar. Hi. You might recognize her from The Wonder Years or Dancing with the Stars. She's also the New York Times best-selling author of educational books like Kiss My Math. When we have playdates, Danica always does really easy and fun science experiments that the boys love. So today she's going to show us three amazing ones that you can do at home with your kids. I'm Brooke and I'm passionate about making beautiful things for my family on a budget. First up, we're gonna make a really cool homemade lava lamp. Awesome. All you're gonna need to get started is an empty plastic container with an inch to two inches of water in the bottom, some vegetable oil, food coloring, and Alka-Seltzer. First, we're gonna fill up the bottle almost all the way with the oil. Next, we add a little food coloring. Because food coloring is more dense than oil, it will break through the oil and join the water. Oh, there it goes. It looks so pretty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Now for the fun part, we add the Alka-Seltzer. Ooh, can I do the honors? Yes. Okay. Is anything <laughs> happening? Oh, it's yeah. happening. This is so awesome. Isn't it cool? I can't believe how well this works. The bubbles are attached to green food coloring as they come up, then the, the bubble bursts, and then the food coloring goes back down and creates a convection. And it looks really, really cool. Really, really cool. That's the bottom line. That's, That's really my cool. favorite part. <laughs> yeah. And my contribution to this project, add a little glitter for some extra sparkle. Next, we're going to make a non-Newtonian fluid, which is basically a really <laughs> cool goop that changes when you touch it. All you're going to need to get started is cornstarch, water, and food coloring is optional. I'm using one and a half cups of cornstarch and a half a cup of water, but really it just needs to be three to one. If you want to use food coloring, this is a good time to add it so it mixes more evenly. All right, now we mix them together. That's all this is. You'll feel that it's pretty hard down below where it's just the cornstarch. Just takes a minute to get it all mixed together. I like to use a spoon to help mix it too. It looks so pretty, I love the color. Once you're done, it should look like this. A liquid, right? Yeah. Try poking it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that wild? Whoa, that is weird. <laughs> yeah, okay, but now try putting your finger in really slowly really slowly. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. It's, it's like slime now. It's, it's almost like a slime it's texture. It's like a liquid. So like why, how does this work? What's happening? <laughs> okay, so the cornstarch molecules are a lot bigger than the water molecules, which are like little balls. And so when you move slowly, they can slide around each other and your finger can get in. But if you go really fast, then the water molecules all run out and you're basically hitting solid cornstarch. Can't wait to show this to Lincoln. I feel like kids will love this. Yes, and here's something else you can do. Take a spoon, grab some out, and then like make a ball. Feels like solid, but then as it sits in your hand, it'll start to melt. Look, look oh, at the edges. That's so cool. This is like my new favorite thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is so easy to make and a great way to introduce your kids to science. <laughs> Ooh. Cool. <laughs> and finally, we have a super easy, super colorful milk and soap experiment. All you're gonna need is some whole milk, dish soap, food coloring, and Q-tips. Just add the milk to any baking dish. You want about an inch deep layer of milk. All right, now we're gonna add the food coloring, and it looks really pretty to put a few drops together of different colors right in the center. Okay, now the fun part. Take a Q-tip. Okay. Put it in dish soap. Like that? Yep, get some on there, and then just touch the colors anywhere you want. I'm excited. Whoa! Isn't that pretty? All right, so you know when you're doing the dishes and dish soap breaks up fat and grease, right? Same thing is happening here. There's fat in the milk and the dish soap breaks up and dissolves that fat and the food coloring just shows us what's happening. That's so cool. It's so it's pretty. gorgeous. And you can even put the colors farther away from each other and use different Q-tips for each color. It's beautiful as the colors bloom and then, and then they start to mix. It's moving five colors. All right, Danica, thank you so much for showing us these amazing experiments. Don't forget to click on the description for all the details and to find out more about Danica's books. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next Friday. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.